Hello and welcome back to Quick Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at the word especially and you can find out if you're one of the students who uses it correctly or one of the very many who doesn't. Let's have a look at some example sentences first. I like board games in general and especially the strategy ones. Oh, I love hot chocolate, especially after a winter walk. Mm, I love southern Germany, especially in the spring. The government aims to improve education, especially the primary sector. You seem especially happy today. Now, did you notice that the word especially there is used before a variety of other word forms? We've got an adjective in number five, for example, some nouns like in one and four, and then two and three, it comes before a prepositional phrase. Did you also notice that it comes quite late in the sentence? This is the mistake that I most often see in student writing. Students like to start sentences with especially. Now, there may be a reason for this. Look at these sentences. I like board games, especially strategy ones. I love hot chocolate, especially after a winter walk. Now, these look a lot more like spoken English. I know I've typed them for you to be able to read them, but they sound like the sort of thing that you might say. Now, we don't see the punctuation, of course, when we're speaking English, but it may very well sound like somebody is using especially to start a sentence. And that's OK. Spoken English is a lot less formal than written English. And we can and do start sentences with especially when we're speaking. Unfortunately, you already know that English is not quite as simple as saying you can do it when you're speaking, but you mustn't do it when you're writing. There are always exceptions. So let's look at one of those next. Don't worry about the vocab here. It is quite formal vocabulary, so you might not know all of the words, but I'm only using it as an example of the position of especially. Especially during the depression in the 17th century, when money was scarce in many countries, Transactions frequently reverted to payments in kind. Now, this is from the Cambridge Economic History of Europe. So it is written English and it should be good English and it will be formal English. You can also see that there's a sentence starting with especially. In fact, this really is the exception that proves the rule. We said before that especially is OK at the beginning of sentences in speaking, but it's not typical in writing. Well, that's exactly the reason why it was used here. Because it's unusual, it's a surprise to the reader. It emphasises the following part of the sentence. So it really puts some emphasis on the idea that it was during the Depression in the 17th century that transactions became payments in kind more frequently. Normally, a sentence like this would begin with transactions. But breaking that typical word order really grabs the reader's attention. But it can only do that because it's something unusual. Now, to test out my theory, with the position of the word especially, I use some special software called a concordancer that uses a database of formal written English and searches through it for sentences with especially in them. I looked through 750 example sentences with especially, and that was just when I got bored and gave up. I could have continued. But out of those 750 lines, only about five or six sentences started with especially. So a very small number of the total. 
And of those five or six sentences, only two were a really good use of the word especially in a natural sounding sentence, like the one I've chosen here as the example. The others, although they had especially at the beginning, if I had been editing that writing, I would have changed the position of especially. OK, so from all of those many, many lines taken from formal academic writing, a very small number started with especially. And of those, only a fraction seemed like good English, in my opinion. So what this means for you as learners is really use especially late in a sentence. It usually comes somewhere in the middle. It is possible, theoretically, to use it at the beginning if there's a supporting clause following it. And you would do this to make what you're saying emphatic and to surprise the reader. In practice, though, as a learner of English, it's incredibly difficult for you to do this in a way that sounds natural. Most people, including native speakers, can't do it successfully. So I really don't recommend that you try it. If I were you, I would avoid it because it's so, so difficult to do well. It can, however, be used to start a sentence in informal spoken English. So if you're speaking, it's OK. You can do it there. I really advise you not to do it in writing, though. OK, so I hope that helps you. Have fun practicing your English and I'll see you again soon for another quick lesson. Bye.